Hello everybody. Um, since this is where we uh, started the initial conversion or the introduction of Low Blue 2, I thought it would be a fitting location to do the reveal video of all the work we've done. Um, if you were actually in a rush to do this build, you could do the entire build within a week. Maybe even as um, short as two or three days. Um, we took about three weeks or so. Uh, but that's because I didn't work on it every day and I kind of chilled out and was just running some different ideas but let's go ahead and take a tour of the um the van without further ado here's a tour of little blue 2. here we are inside the cockpit and you can see our cheap ten dollar dash cam that we have installed it's basically a um an android phone that i bought for about ten dollars on sale at walmart um, we also have our FM transmitter that can receive um, a signal from our $7 Android phone that I also got on sale from Walmart and transmit it to our built-in stereo. I went ahead and pulled the stereo from the original Low Blue, so I actually have the ability now to plug in a, um, the phone or some other sound source into the uh, cassette deck and play it through there. Um, panning down, you can see my um, cheap uh, portable power pack. Uh, this is basically a, a jump start kit. It has a solar panel to recharge. If I was like totally off grid and had an emergency and needed to just sit out there in the sun and let it charge itself, um, it can be charged through a wall socket through here as well as an adapter that can go into the uh, cigarette lighter. Although I seem to have misplaced that adapter. Um, the unit has um, jumper cables here for jumping the car. And underneath, it also has um, an air compressor in case I get a flat. It's got a plug for uh, 12 volt output, as well as um, USB so I can use it to charge devices. And it's got two um, lights that are built into the unit that I can use. And these lights also um, detach and see they slide out. And you can use it as a um, a flashlight or you can put the two halves the, the other one comes out too and you can put them together and lock them into place and you have a flashlight but otherwise you can just use it like this and um, try to get this this guy in here okay there we go you can just use that as a flashlight by itself set this guy down here I have a little um, USB adapter here that I use to charge um, USB devices while we're driving so I basically have um, two USB plugs that are always available and to keep things cool I have a cheap little um, cooler unit here that I picked up from um, the thrift store for only like they only paid like five dollars but basically I can set it to hot or cold and it's not very big and it doesn't get freezing cold, but it does get cold enough to chill drinks. So when traveling, I can put water or soda in there and it will chill it. Let's see. As you can see, we also had installed the um, blind spot mirror to make the vehicle a little bit safer. And we put in some privacy curtains to, right here to separate the, the back and the front area of the vehicle. Moving on back. We can see this is what the um, the rear looks like, and we have um, this, the seat unit here that can be folded down for bed mode. I have it folded down right now so you can see what it looks like inside, but normally this is up because I still use this van to transport my kids, and it has to function as like a soccer mom vehicle. There is some storage under here which I use to store the hose as well as some tools and basically some sidewalk chalk and toys for the kids. And looking on back down here underneath, this is a little portable table that can come up for a drawing and whatnot for the kids to use. And we have our custom toilet there, and a tent, as well as some bedding material behind there. Um, two pillows. I'm planning on adding some um, sleeping bags that we'll be putting under here. Maybe another layer of bungee cord to hold everything in place. 
On the side here, I haven't fully configured it yet, but it's storage for a fishing pole and flotation device and uh, snorkeling gear for my son. And on the other side, we have our custom drawer system there that I set up with the cheap little um, solar um, lamp. You can see that we've added um, some small bungee cords to help hold everything down. And all I did was um, basically drill a tiny hole at the top and drill a tiny hole at the bottom and just run the bungee cord. Uh, what that will do is keep the drawers from flying out while we're traveling. On the bottom unit, I have um, at the top I put in some um, Velcro and have put in a fishing tackle box there for when we go fishing. And I didn't bother putting bungee cords on those drawers because um, they haven't really flown out in my driving around. Uh, if that becomes an issue, I'll go ahead and put in another little um, bungee cord to hold everything in place. And while we're at it, let me point out that little white thing right there that you see in the corner. That is a carbon monoxide detector and um, it runs off a battery and basically I put it in just for safety um, when you're living in a vehicle um, and you're possibly cooking in it or staying in it with the engine running there's a possibility of carbon monoxide poisoning so it's probably a very good idea to keep that or, or to install that. Um, let's go ahead and, and continue around the vehicle Here you can see the, the the view from the rear, and it's basically our kitchenette. Uh, the van is designed for you to stand under it when you're cooking. And once again, we have some storage here for our shower system, as well as our, um, I, I guess our awning system, porch. I have toys in here for my son, basketball and whatnot. Um, also rice cooker shower stuff for our shower system, multi-plug outlet when we're plugged in and can run all these devices. A little sleeping bag for the kids for the tent. Um, I had mentioned in a previous video that my um, top board here had broken so what I did was I just put another little beam down there um, to help hold everything in place. I put a beam there, there, and there. When you're doing your own build you'll probably use stronger wood and run it you know the the width of it all the way across so you don't have a part that hangs out with no brace that's how this piece broke i may replace it eventually but for now i'll just keep it as it is um there's some bowls here for showering um as well as cooking um, washing dishes whatever you need and once again there is salsa storage here our storage unit has the portable shower system some beach gear because my kids and i love to go to the beach um, these are the poles that are used for the awning system and we've got a skimmer board, um, a chair back there and a portable table for setup. The kitchenette itself is right here and um, has a pre-bought drawer, plastic drawer unit that I just use to store kitchen type stuff. It's got storage underneath for, um, we've got an emergency compressor in case the other one doesn't work and our propane stove. I don't have the canisters with me, but if I were traveling, I would carry those. Right now, I'm not carrying them because I'm um, not doing any camping right now. Um, when we are on grid, we can cook using the electric top. Um, I went with a single um, electric unit instead of the dual one that I had in the previous build because I found that generally I only cook one item at a time and this is nice and small and um, I was trying to really scale down with this vehicle. For baking or heating up pizza and whatnot we have a little and we have a little um, toaster oven here that we can use and we can cook things in it. Slides back and locks. And we have storage, which I haven't put anything in it yet. Wanted to point out some stuff about these side drawers here. Basically, I have um, two full-size drawers that can be used to hold more kitchen stuff. And we have plates and um, bowls and other things in here. But I wanted to point out something that if you are building this kitchen unit, you may encounter if your van, like mine, has a little lip where it goes up. 
This bottom drawer would not come out if um, if you tried to pull it straight out, so you have to tilt it up. The only way to do that is really to cut, and you can see here, well, this got split, so I'm gonna have to repair that, figure it's something out there. But um, basically, you need to cut and trim down the side here. I'll probably just replace this drawer with another one and do a better job of cutting. But I cut down about um, two inches, an inch and a half or two inches here, and use that like that. Let's continue on by. And I always carry around this cooler even when we're not camping or anything because it can function as a an ice cooler. I carry some stuff in it like right now I just have some cups and water and a little emergency snack pack for the kids. But when you um, have the seat up, let me try that put the seat up here. I'm going to pause here for a moment. Okay, if I have the if I put the seat up like a normal mode for the kids to ride, I can also just put the uh, cooler out, you know, alongside it like this. And you can see that it it gives me actually a little tiny bench or a bed that I can lay down in. So if I were traveling by myself um and just needed a quick nap, I might not even bother setting up the the full bed in the back, but just set this up, throw down a sleeping bag or two and just sleep on it. Wake up, roll that up. Put that up and you're on the road. And that essentially is um, Little Blue 2.